in GED tutorial number 18 and 19 no real changes just follow the video as is in video 20 Jimmy start using Google Tests again and at that point I thought to myself maybe it is a very good idea for me to learn Google Tests so I went back to video 10 setting up GTest during the process of setting up GTest there are two complication that arises so this tutorial will address how to set up GTest and address those two complications step one is to grab Google test a simple Google test search will bring you the required link just click on the first link download and download the latest 1.70 version of the zip file I add that zip file into my middleware folder for ease so go to your middleware folder you have the zip file double click to go into it double click the gtest in your zip file to go into it again from your middleware directory create a folder and call it gtest go into your new created folder See the source file right here can be found in your zip source. Drag it into your directory, copy it. This gtest within the, the gtest folder within the gtest folder within middleware can be found in your zip file. Double click include and drag gtest into your gtest replace if you go into the gtest folder it's where all the header file is located at the second phase go into visual studio and we are going to create a new project right click on solution engine add new project video 10 it's instructed to create a visual C++ window console application but remember we're doing a Q5 project so Q5 console application make sure your the location is in your project file give it a name we're gonna call it Qt engine test select OK the wizard next the G the cute core it's fine for this project so click finish once that project has been added into Visual Studio right click on it scroll down convert project to QMake generate project right click again convert project to Q add-in project yes see main.cspp click on it delete everything on it type void main for now and to test right click on Q engine test build it you should be built successfully if not right click convert convert again keep doing it until you can build successfully like so now towards the end of video 10 you have let me see I could zoom this video in you have a gtest slash all dot cc so let's add that in right click on Q engine test add existing item go to your middleware folder gtest source gtest slash all add now the second complication is when you build this you won't be able to build it correctly it will have it will generate a bunch of error let's wait for Visual Studio to compile 
gtest header file no file or directory uh, let's do that it's errorless let's add the header file real quick right click g q engine test properties c++ general additional include directory edit add dollar sign brand project dir with a capital P and a capital D brand dot dot slash middleware slash g test press ok apply ok right click again build it let there you go all out error every single error and it is a quick to solve this error If you do a quick Google search uh, to help you guys out a lot, it has to do with too many template arguments. You could read on it to see exactly why there's an issue between Google Test and Visual Studio 2012. And let me scroll down to our solution. The solution is here. Let me zoom this in. So that you guys can see this very clearly. We are to go into our project properties, select C preprocessor, then go to our preprocessor definition, and we are to add this definition here. Like so. Let me copy this. Let's do that. Go back into our project right click Q engine test properties C++ like so preprocessor preprocessor definition edit enter show V add that line ok ok uh, right click on Q engine test let's set as startup project right click again build it and this time when you build it it should work it will be successful like so success and now run it success and there you have it now you have a working a Q engine test project that can implement the Google test so continue to follow along with video 10 through I believe into video 15 or 14 follow as is so you can familiar, familiarize yourself with Google tests and once you're done head back to video 20 until the next video happy coding and good day